all right everyone welcome back to another video another tutorial for you guys i have brought today i'm scuba daddy and i will be showing you today how you can increase your page file because i got asked in the comments of my previous video that i explained how to install lorem and that you need to actually have the page file on a certain amount of megabytes and i didn't actually show it in the video so i'm making a separate video for anyone who actually has no idea how to do this to understand how this works and how to actually change this correctly so you don't overload your system and crash your entire system and get some blue screens the first thing you need to do is actually go and like the video and subscribe and notification bell because it does really help me out a lot and the second thing is go into your windows right here and type in sysdm.cpl this will park this thing right here and click enter once you go into this thing right here go to advanced in the performance section click settings go to advanced again and what you need to do is go to virtual memory and click change as you can see this is automatic right here so what i need to do is just click to not be automatic and click on the drive that i want to change the page file now i want to change it in this one right here and when you click on this you can click on custom size and your initial size for megabytes should be the recommended size it shows right here so you have to have it on 4,962 and uh, 68, sorry. In the maximum size, now this is where you have to actually calculate some stuff. So go ahead and open your calculator. Let me drag and drop it here. And how you actually calculate this, it depends on your RAM. So in my case, I have a 32 gigabytes of RAM. I have two pieces of RAM. So I have two 16 gigabytes of RAM. I have 32, which the whole package is the whole the thing you want to actually like calculate so i have 32 gigabytes of ram i want to multiply this by 1024 which is the single gigabyte that's how much it is in the entire ram so that's 32768 megabytes and what the maximum size megabytes should be is three times your ram size this ram size so what you want to do again is multiply this by three 98,304. Now, I don't recommend putting it on this huge amount because sometimes you might actually crush the PC. Too much allocation will actually crush your PC, so do not make it this high. What I recommend doing, most of the games that require above the recommended amount of page file should be above 40,000 and under 45,000. So what you do for the maximum size right here i will put it on 40 000 and then click set now once you click set as you can see it will show here now if i click on this again it will show that the maximum size is system managed so it is how much it wants to be now on nvme m2s but just to be sure if you want to actually do this go ahead and do it for yourself but right now if you have a game like low rim which requires 40,000 for the minimum is just go ahead and do it for yourself because it will actually cause issues and a lot of crashes in the game now i do have my game in this folder right here the recording folder for some reason because that was the only space i had for the 550 gigabytes of the game and that's why i changed it on this one so when you open the mod organizer for the game for example in low rim it will ask if you want to do it manually or if you want to do it automatically with the mod organizer just click for it to do it automatically because it will just save you the time of going all the way here but if you don't have the automatic click to actually do this go ahead and calculate it and put it how much you can actually put it so if you have a 16 gigabytes of ram what you will do is multiply this by one zero two four and then times three forty nine thousand one hundred and fifty two now, do not set it on that amount. Again, set it on 40,000 and set it right here on the maximum. Remember guys, the initial size must be the recommended megabytes of the drive. Do not set it higher. Now, this is not something uh, that I advise you to do. Just do it if the game actually requires it because it does cause some problems in the future. But if the game actually needs this, like for example, Tarkov, I know for a fact, if you play Tarkov, you if you don't do this, 
the game will run like crap. So go ahead and do this if you're playing actual Tarkov and you want to have the great FPS you should have in the game and load the game a little bit better because the rendering of that game is so crap. That was it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Scuba Daddy. Make sure you like the video. Comment down below what you think of this video. If you have any more questions or if there's something that you can't actually do uh, with the page file or if you have any other things that you want me to make a video on and help you, I'll be doing them and I will be answering to all your questions and comments down below. So subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next tutorial or video. Adios.